Hello, we've got Aston Villa against Manchester United. Part of my win in club series where I follow a chosen and my team through the matches until they lose the game. Of course, with this one, Manchester United keeps on winning their games. So that's why i am been previewing their matches back to back to back. So if they win or draw against Aston Villa as they should, then I'll preview their next game against Southampton. If Aston Villa gets a big upset, and get to view a crucial victory that they need. I'll preview the next game against Crystal Palace. So last game, Aston Villa lost Liverpool 2-0, as to be expected, being at Anfield. But considering they're up against the league champions who won every single match at home this season, and going back a couple of seasons actually, um, it was pretty impressive to... Be goalless all the way up to the 73rd minute. Sadio Mane on the score sheet. And then Curtis Jones. Right at the end to give Liverpool that 2-0 win. And Curtis Jones' first Premier League goal as well too. 8-7 to seven shots for Aston Villa in the match. And 4 each on target. So it wasn't exactly a dominating performance for Liverpool. Taking the foot off the gas I suppose there. Just want to... Won the matches while well, celebrating at the same time because they won the trophy just a bit. Trying to go for some records, most points in the season and other most wins in the season and keep on that home record and stuff as well too. 72% position for Liverpool but yeah as I say the shots chances matters the most here and it was pretty even on that front. For Manchester United that was also... An interesting game, more important for Manchester United uh, than for Liverpool, but important for both teams, I should say. Manchester United competing for a European Champions League position, Aston Villa trying to stay up. So Manchester United, they got a 5-2 win against Bournemouth. Surprisingly, Bournemouth actually had the lead 16 minutes in with Junior Steinus, but Manchester United fought back Mason Greenwood, 29th minutes, then Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial on the score sheet too. After the break, Joshua King managed to bring it to a 3-2 penalty kick, 49th minute for Bournemouth. But Mason Greenwood got a second goal and also Bruno Fernandes turns out to be a great signing, scoring a ton of goals as well too. Managed to score another one in this particular match. So that was for this game, Aston Villa, even though they're at home, it's 10-1. 550 for the draw and a dollar twenty-eight for Manchester United. Manchester United currently sit in fifth place, which could be enough for a Champions League position, because uh, we still haven't heard back about Manchester City's situation, whether or not they're still gonna be banned from the Champions League. They've got given a two year suspension, uh, but we still have to wait back sometime this month, I believe. Or whether or not that gets upheld or removed or whatever the case may be. So there's still only a couple of points behind my team at Chelsea there to get that guaranteed top four position. Uh, well, I should be two points behind if they win this match here because we played just recently against Costa Plus. We managed to win, so therefore... Could actually be five points behind now. Chelsea in the third place over Leicester City. Just trying to remember thing, everything correctly here. Uh, so it should be a pretty easy win for Manchester United. So that's what I'm going to go for. But it'd be great for Aston Villa to turn up. They need the results desperately as well too. So you never know. Both teams fighting for something important. So it should be a good match. Going to go for a 3 0 win for Manchester United here. Feel free to let me know your thoughts, predictions down below. And until next time, thumbs up and subscribe.